Associate Professor of Physics at Government First Grade College, Kadur, Chikmagalur, affiliated to Kuwempo University. I welcome you all to the practical video classes, which is going to provide you an opportunity to learn from home. We start with the fourth semester practicals, that is to verify network theorems. So there are many network theorems out of which we are going to study three network theorems. That is, we are going to verify Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem. So the aim of the experiment is to verify Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem. Now this is the apparatus you can see in the picture. Uh, you have a power supply, then you have three resistors along with the load resistance and there is a milliameter and a multimeter to record the output. Now let us look at the circuit here. You can see here we are connecting the battery, positive of battery to R1 and from R1 to R2, R2 to negative of battery in between R1 and R2 to R3 and uh, to a milliameter from there to a load resistance and the output is measured using a multimeter. Now if you look at what is the value of the input that is V i is equal to 10 volts is taken, R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to 200 ohms, RL is variable. Now look, let us look at the circuit connections here, you can see here we have connected this the power supply then you have uh, the resistors R1, R2 and R3 and this is the RL and you have a milliameter here and a multimeter which is going to record the output across load resistance. This is the load resistance. Now we have unplugged uh, 200 ohms in each R1, R2, R3. We have taken same values of R1, R2, R3. We can take different values or you can take any value also and then we have to find the output we have to verify ultimately we have to verify the network theorems now let us on the circuit and see i'll just unplug 10 ohms here in the load resistance and uh, we want to measure the voltage here so that's a dc voltage uh, so we'll set it to dc voltage probably we'll see the range later and i'll just on the uh, power supply when i on the power supply i have to set it to 10 volts so I have set here to almost 10 volts, you can see 10.1, yeah, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 
Now I'll unplug say about 200 in the output. You can see 3.55 is the output. Similarly go for uh, 300. To go for 300 it is 4.46 and so on. We keep doing this. After that what we have to do next? We have to note down the readings here. If you look at the tabular column. You can see the tabular column, trial number is there, load resistance, then current is there, voltage and power. So we have noted the current and voltage values, we have to calculate power by multiplying current and voltage. Then we have to plot a graph of, we have to verify the th three theorems, for that we have to plot, for Thevenin's theorem verification we have to plot a graph of V versus I. For Norton's theorem we have to plot a graph of I versus RL. And for maximum power transfer theorem, we have to plot a graph of power versus load resistance. And then uh, we have to compare the experimental and theoretical values. Now, if you look at the graph, once you plot the graph, the VTH value, what you get here, should be comparable with the theoretical value, right? The RTH value, what you got from the slope of this graph, should be comparable with the theoretical value. Similarly, IN, that is a Norton current and you have maximum power is equal to RL that is equal to R that also should be verified. So we will see what is the formula we have to uh, make use of. The formula you have RTH is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So R1, R2 and R3 values you know that is a 200 ohms. Just if you calculate you will get some value here. That value should be equal to the slope of this curve, the slope of this graph, right. This slope should be equal to this RTH value, then it is verified. Similarly, VTH, VTH is equal to VI into R2, VI is 10 ohms, 10 volts and R2 and R1 it is 200 uh, ohms and we will get some value here that VTH value should be equal to this VTH value which you have got from the graph. So then it will be verified and similarly the maximum power transfer theorem, if you plot a graph for this uh, power versus uh, load resistance you will get a curve like this and you have some maximum power here corresponding to that you will get RL that will be equal to R that will be the internal resistance right that is equal to RL is equal to R when it is verified then uh, the experiment is over we, we have to verify the experimental values with the theoretical values that will be the end of the experiment this is the result section. Now we will uh, go back to the uh, when you come to for the exam. Uh, what are the things you have to keep in mind? You have to see that you will answer few questions there again 5 marks questions, 5 marks viva questions will be there for uh, BSc students uh, as per the Coempo University syllabus. So you should be able to answer 5 questions, maybe the questions will be asked what are network theorems, why it is required, what is the use of that or maybe uh, state Thevenin's theorem, state Norton's theorem, state maximum power transfer theorem. All such simple questions will be asked. So this we have completed this experiment. Thank you.